Hey everybody, how's it going? I uh, just wanted to do a real quick video today on uh, this wonderful new desk you've uh, seen installed behind me. Uh, it was put together by Mr. Bradley Wright from the YouTube channel DIY Builds. Uh, the link is in the description below if you want to check it out. If you're into uh, cutting wood or um, you know home carpentry or that kind of thing, definitely check it out. Brad's got some pretty amazing designs. Uh, basically what happened was Fluff got a new desk and I'm like, damn, I want that. And um, I looked around at a few different designs, but nobody really designed anything I thought suited my needs. I, I, liked, um, I liked a few things I'd seen online, but nobody really had this extensive uh, cabinetry work under the desk. And I thought that was a great idea. You know, if we're gonna put the racks up on top, I thought some uh, cabinets, cabinet space below would be really good at utilizing uh, the very limited space I have in my studio. So um, I talked to Brad and uh, he was definitely down for it. So yeah, it was, it was an absolutely huge job. Brad worked his ass off building this desk. Check, check out a few of these clips here from his channel. Now, aside from actually constructing the desk, the actual swap out was really something insane. I mean, I've been in this room for about 13 years, actually, and I've had some cheaper desks before, and I've kind of, I've tried a, a one studio desk that had like a pullout um, t keyboard tray, and that wound up breaking on me, and you know, just a lot of the solutions didn't quite seem like they'd keep up with my actual needs, and, and you know, be able to withstand my day-to-day -day operations in here because yeah i do get a little rough on the equipment uh, but yeah eventually you know brad came came to my rescue swapping out this old office desk that i've had for years and years was quite the chore um and the custom built rack i had alongside of it for my rack gear and you know i stuck my amps on top and all that that was uh, quite the chore as well and um, it's just amazing how much dust collects behind here Okay, so here's the desk, kind of close up here. Let me do a pan. And as you can see, you know, the finish is just gorgeous. I'm gonna get a close up on this in a few minutes. But for those of you guys who are wondering what happened to my amps, they are sitting safely off to the side on a roller case designed by Brad as well. And this will hold three amplifiers. And I can just wheel this into position when I'm working and then just wheel it out of the way when I'm not because while well, 90, 80 to 90% 90 of the time, I'm not tracking guitar. So this just makes perfect sense in this case and just frees up a lot of floor space. Off to the side, you've, here's uh, something you guys have probably never seen on my show. This is my Cooler Master Cosmos case. Built this back in 09 and uh, just wanted a very clean and quiet computer system. And I've been using this case ever since. It's got a lot of great big low rotation fans for not a lot of noise. And just to take you through, uh, my racks these are now conveniently located just at my fingertips oh what a great way to work uh, on top I've got a new trick quarter inch patch bay and I'm gonna do a dedicated episode on patch bays because I think they're very important I haven't had one and um, they definitely save a lot of grief especially if you're doing a lot of reamping and dry tracking that court side of thing it gives you access to the, all the backs of your preamps and and whatnot um, and definitely uh, keeps the dicking around factor to an absolute minimum uh, below that, we've got the Fireface 800, Great River MP to NV, which I'm using for my voiceover right now, Vintech Dual 72, and of course the API 512Cs. I use these on drum overhead, snare, guitar, and whatnot. Uh, that's an IGS rubber bands uh, RB500, which is a uh, mastering EQ based off of Poltec. It sounds absolutely amazing. Started using that on just some, some solo tracks as well, getting some great results. Uh, beside that is a uh, IGS Alter 500, their version of an 1176. Very cool, nice step pots on this. Just fantastic stuff. Sounds so good on snares. And over on the um, secondary rack, we've got the Empirical Labs Distressor, which has become quite famous on this channel. And uh, Personas Digimax 96. 
not the you know the preamps are decent they're clean but they've got some limiters which is great and it's great for portable recording that sort of thing it's not exactly what i put um all my main channels on it's not exactly what i what i call my gold channel this is just for like you know secondary stuff and stuff that's not quite so important most of the stuff uh, gets recorded through you know the class a stuff the apis and, and, the, and the great rivers and that kind of thing but when i need extra channels you know the digimax definitely uh can definitely keep up with the game. On top of that is an Ebtec hum eliminator that's just taking up space. I don't really have a hum issue in the studio. I used to, solved it years ago. And it's just taking up rack space, and now I, now I need to get some blank rack panels. On loan to Chris Rafinski is my uh, Two Notes Torpedo Live. He's enjoying it, but I'm gonna want it back because I need to fill up some rack spaces here. But yeah, if you, if you check it out, yeah, the, just the finish on this, on this desk is quite unbelievable. You know, it's just like mirror finish and it, it's really something I'm beyond impressed it is oh so comfortable and underneath we have these extensive this extensive cabinetry you know I've installed uh, like some some extra drawers here from uh, staples you know just to keep track of some extra Stuff like connectors and, and post-it notes and that kind of thing and below here and these cabinets get even wider in the back which is great okay bump the mic and yeah you can see just how much space is, is uh, actually available back there so that's great that's gonna that's gonna uh, be a great way uh, to store a lot of crap and keep it out of the way which is uh, one thing that I've struggled with over the years because it is I am in a fairly small studio here so there's not a lot of space to work with. Okay, so that is, uh, that's my new desk. Um, again, once again, thanks to Brad Wright over at DIY Builds for building this amazing piece of equipment. Um, if you guys need um, custom desk work done and you're within driving distance of Southern Ontario, I'd say check him out. Um, he's very reasonably priced and he does absolutely magnificent work. Thanks a lot, guys.